The True Blue Auto Blade comes with a field replaceable webbing line. This webbing based system minimizes wall damage and is preferred by climbers over cable for its more natural feel. The webbing should be regularly inspected per the instructions in the operator manual. For regular webbing inspections, ensure that there is adequate lighting and unrestricted access is available to permit a thorough inspection. Inspect the condition of the carabiner, checking for wear and damage, correct operation of the locking mechanism, and smooth operation of the carabiner swivel. Slowly pull out the webbing from the unit. As webbing is withdrawn, inspect for damage, cuts, or abrasion to stitching, cutting, wear, and abrasion to surface of the webbing, discoloration, fading, or chalking of the surface, heat and friction damage, such as hard or shiny areas, contamination from dirt or chemicals, twisting or knotting. If any of these conditions are found, replace the webbing immediately. An in-depth six-month webbing inspection is also required. For this inspection, the unit must be dismounted and removed to a sturdy work table. To conduct the six-month inspection, remove the nozzle pin from the nozzle. Pull out the complete webbing line, including the drum lead. Place a suitable pin through the loop in the drum lead above the joining link. This will prevent the webbing from retracting back into the unit. Inspect both sections of webbing by passing the webbing slowly through your hands under good light. Inspect the webbing line for damage to stitching, cuts to webbing, especially to edges, abrasion across the surface of the webbing, wearing and fraying, especially to edges and webbing loops, UV degradation in the form of discoloration, fading, and chalking of the webbing surface, chemical contamination, which can result in soft or weak fibers, color change or flaking of the surface, heat or friction damage, indicated by hard fibers or glazing of the surface, contamination from dirt, sand, or rust, twisting, knotting, or permanent deformation of webbing. Inspect the webbing joining shackle, ensuring that the shackle pin is secure and straight, the shackle is undamaged and in correct orientation, and the webbing around the link is not worn or damaged. If the webbing needs to be replaced, first unscrew the shackle pin. Remove the webbing line and fit the new shackle supplied with the line and ensure that the loop part of the shackle is fitted to the drum lead. Fit the new line passing the threaded shackle pin through the loop. Tighten the shackle pin per the operator manual instructions. Once the webbing has been inspected or replaced, remove the holding pin and allow the line to slowly retract until the drum lead and joining link are inside the casing. Do not allow the line to twist. Refit the nozzle assembly, then slowly retract the webbing line into the casing checking the action is smooth and adequate resistance is felt. Don't forget to replace the nozzle clip. Once the line is fully retracted, pull out the line a short distance and allow it to retract. Repeat this action two to three times to ensure that the line is firmly wound onto the drum. Finally, return the auto blade to service and check for correct operation.